Hi, I'm Amy Vanderoff, and I'm here to introduce you to the minimally invasive back and neck surgery that may change your life and to the process that makes getting that care easy, affordable, and stress-free. That's the process of North American Spine, the leaders in minimally invasive spine care. North American Spine surgeons are trained in the latest techniques and equipped with the most top-of-the-line technology to get the job done right and get you back to a normal, pain-free life. To tell you more is Dr. Bassam, a North American Spine Partnered Physician. Dr. Bassam, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Walk us through of some common conditions that may cause someone to have back and neck pain. Well, there's a wide array of conditions, but some of the really common ones that we specifically treat are disc protrusions, disc herniations, disc de um, degenerative disc disease, or you know, scar tissue or any sort of epidural adhesions. And, you know, a lot of these things can cause impingement on nerve roots, specifically anywhere around where these nerves exit the vertebral column. And when that happens, you feel pain down the arms or down the legs. And what we attempt to do is to release that impingement with our scope and laser, which reduces the protrusion or also lyses some of the scar tissue in order to free up that nerve and relieve a lot of those symptoms. Okay, so what have been the traditional treatments when it comes to this type of pain and how effective are they? Well, traditional open back surgery can involve a bigger incision, which includes a, a lot more damage to the muscle and ligaments around the area where they're doing their dissection, and can lead to a lot more scar tissue formation than a minimally invasive technique that we utilize. Dr. Bassam, let's talk about what viewers really need to hear, the treatment options at North American Spine and the conditions that you're helping. Well, North American Spine offers a wonderful minimally invasive technique towards back surgery that involves you know, one part of it, which is a small incision down at the lower end of the epidural canal or the spinal canal opening, where we make a one centimeter incision and pass a fiber optic camera through it. That camera will travel up that canal and is capable of visualizing any pathology from disc herniation, scar tissue, adhesions, whatever we see. And we intervene with the laser through the fiber optic camera to essentially perform the discectomy and neural decompression that releases any impingement on the nerve root or whatever um, otherwise it's going on in there and can relieve the patient's symptoms. We also use a posterior lateral approach where we'll actually come in through the sides, um, which means that we'll advance a needle and uh, dilate out and actually travel directly to where the nerve root exits, the foramen, or the hole in the vertebral column, and we can intervene there and remove part of the disc that is actually impinging on that nerve root. Recovery time for this procedure is actually pretty rapid. However, we do have patients with some restrictions directly afterward, but usually about two weeks to a month, patients are doing pretty well, and after that, do some physical therapy, and they can get back to their activities of daily living. And also, a really great part of this procedure is with the camera, we can actually go up to multiple levels of the spine. It doesn't just stop at the bottom portion, but we can actually travel upward and see a lot of what's going on throughout different um, levels of discs throughout the lumbar spine. Dr. Bassam, thank you so much for all of that information. It was my pleasure. I have with me here today, Marsha, a patient who suffered on and off with agonizing back pain for more than 20 years before finding relief with North American Spine. Alongside her is her husband, Ken, and we wanna say thank you so much to both of you for being here today. Thank you for having us. We're excited to be here. Well, Marsha, we're excited to hear your story. So take us to back when you first started noticing issues and pain with your back. Well, I had an injury uh, 20 years ago. I was rollerblading with our kids and fell and injured two discs. And I saw a surgeon. He said, you might need surgery later, but not now. 10 years later, I had major back surgery and was it was debilitating. I was in the hospital for over a week and then had a recovery that lasted several months. And so he said, in 10 years, you may have issues. I didn't really know what that meant, but 10 years later, almost to the day, I had a, an issue with a, a disc. I started having severe pain down my leg, my back, I could hardly move. Went and saw a doctor, they gave me some treatment, and that it just started back up again. So it was pretty severe and I didn't really know what to do at that point. I'm sure, and you weren't thinking about this pain management for so long and then it creeps right. back in to your life, uh, ruining your day to day once right. again. So what did you do for pain management? Well, I went to my family doctor and she referred me back to my back surgeon. 
and he was not really eager to do anything. His school of thought was kind of what he had done before, major back surgery, and we were not gonna do that. So I said, what alternative do I have? And he said, well, we can refer you to pain management. So I saw a pain management specialist and he put me on some medication, did an epidural, which was not effective, and then the medication had some side effects that made me feel kind of foggy and I was just not wanting that. So at that point, I just said, you know, what else can I do? And my family practice doctor asked me to, to look into the minim, minimal invasive surgeries. Of course. So that's how I found North American Spine. And I know your husband, Ken, sitting alongside of you, you've been along this journey with her. You know how debilitating her first surgery was, where the recovery was so brutal. Um, so when she started having pain again, I'm sure you were concerned. Oh, absolutely, because we knew he said in the beginning that this is going to come back to you. So we knew that uh, when it came back this time, when she, uh, when we found out later, she actually ruptured two discs. So we find that out, and and I see her going into depression because it's sad to see she's very active, and and I saw her just slowly spiraling down, and I thought, wow, what are we going to do? And when we went to the surgeon and talk to him, the one that did the original, he said, there's really nothing we can do, pain management. And we looked at each other and said, that's not acceptable. Yeah. There's got to be something else. Marsha, this is emotional for you. Yeah, I was very active and I was laying on the couch for months in pain and I couldn't sit up, I couldn't do anything and it was, it was awful. And I got, I asked him to bring me my computer and I said, I'm gonna Google something. I'll find somebody. And I typed in minimally invasive back surgery and North American Spine popped up. And I made my first call and talked to Kimberly Brown, as a matter of fact, and she was amazing. I, I felt so comfortable immediately with her and I just felt like, and we were, I'm a, I'm a registered nurse in, in East Texas and I knew my community. And I was very fearful of going outside of my comfort zone into people I didn't know. So I was, I was a little apprehensive about that. Being in the medical profession, I can certainly see, you see the whole process through a different right. set of lenses. Right. So you're greeted on the phone by this woman, your patient coordinator. Right. And how was this process different for you? Lead us through uh, pre-op and all along the way. Well, it's interesting. I had had dealt with a facility in my hometown and I was not happy with the care I was getting, the response that I was getting, callbacks, referrals, and medication refills, just anything, it was awful. And when I talked to Kimberly, she sent me a package and said, you know, if you have any questions, call me. She actually called me on the phone, talked to me. It was very pleasant and helpful, and if I needed anything, I could call her. You weren't expecting this kind of service? No, not at all. And she coordinated everything and took care of my MRI. And when she gave me a list of what to do before, you know, what to expect, it was extremely helpful. Okay, so day of surgery, walk us through that. Well, I had a, the day before surgery, I came in and they did pain mapping to find out exactly where they were gonna go. And then I came in the morning of surgery and anesthesia, was, they were amazing. They're all very friendly and it's, it's small enough that you have a lot of personal care as opposed to just having 35 people running in and out, you know, so it was small enough to, to feel that they really cared about you. And I guess it was maybe 30 minutes of surgery and got out, felt great, went and had lunch with my sister and my husband and then took a nap and <laughs> it was like I was home and everybody was amazed. We actually flew to San Francisco two days after my surgery and did a seminar. And so we were on a plane and I stood up for, I don't know, 16 hours yep. teaching a class and felt great. I was, I was blown away by the, the results. So you might not have known what minimally invasive was before, oh, but I did a lot of research. <laughs> but you felt but the was, effects afterwards oh, yeah. for sure. It was amazing. 
And so obviously the recovery time is something that you're speaking to a lot because you dealt with something in the past that wasn't so. Exactly. And getting back to your normal activity. And Ken, speak to that because you saw your wife, as you say, spiraling down, not enjoying everyday activities and her livelihood teaching these seminars. Right. What was life like after? Well, I always, it always flashed back to the first time when she had surgery with she could barely move and she would just walk with a walker and I'm thinking here we go again that's what we're going back to and I knew that she didn't want to live that way that she had to have some relief so when she did have the surgery that day and we walk out by noontime we're sitting in a cafeteria right at, at lunchtime I'm thinking this is different than last time and just to see See her well. This is emotional for you too, Ken. Absolutely. And the recovery so far has been very good, hasn't it? It's been very good. Yeah, because the quality of life that she had those four months was not good. Okay, so Ken spoke to how life is now, and I know it's emotional because you've suffered for so long and now you feel well. Talk right. about that wellness post-op. It's really been amazing because I can s sit up and do things that I couldn't do. Even though I'm not working out yet, I can walk and I can do normal activities that you take for granted that I couldn't do for a while. And I learned to eat flat on my back because I couldn't sit up. And it was, uh, it was nice to sit at a table and have a meal. Are you amazed that you can feel this way? When, Absolutely. I'm sure when you were suffering just before surgery, you thought, I'm never going to have my quality of life back. Right. I was, I was very concerned. I had not gotten good information from the people I had talked to up to that point. So I was ready for somebody else to give me a different opinion. If someone in your life wanted to know more about North American Spine, what would you say to them for someone who maybe has been suffering a long time but oh, thinks it's just a way of life? I've, I've given the CD that they sent me to probably five people already. I, anybody that, and I was at the doctor's office the other day and the girl that was the receptionist said her, her mother had uh, back pain and I gave them the number. I said, call Kimberly. So I have already given as many people as I know the referral to call North American Spine. Let's go back to Kimberly. That's your patient coordinator. Yes. Uh, that's what really makes North American Spine special and sets them apart from so many. Speak to how having that ally on your side really helped you through the process. Very thorough, just spectacular. She's very good at what she does and she was pleasant, helpful. If she wasn't there, I would send an email, I'd get a, 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 you know, I'm out of the office. Somebody else would call me. So they have real good backup plans and I was extremely impressed with her. She just really uh, alleviated a lot of my fears and felt like she cared about me. We became, I felt like we became friends almost over the communication that we had. Cause it was a, about a month before I actually had a procedure done that we communicated and she was amazing amazing. I, I really enjoyed visiting with her and, and working with her. Here with us now is Christy, an experienced patient coordinator at North American Spine. Christy, thank you so much for being here. Happy to be here. Well, we hear so many patients just rave about their relationship with their patient coordinator. Explain why that is. Working with us is truly like no other healthcare experience. You know, normally when you call a doctor's office and talk to the front desk, you're gonna get multiple di different people on the phone. When you call North American Spine, you're assigned a specific patient coordinator. And so it's our job to answer their questions, be their main point of contact and kind of work them through the process. It's just a more personable experience. Christy, walk us through a typical patient experience. Sure, so um, I speak with my patient in regards to their medical history. We can then have their MRI reviewed by our medical team. It's a free MRI review. We review their insurance for free, so it's a, it's a great option to see if we can help. 
We verify their insurance benefits so I can relay their expected out-of-pocket costs. And that makes it a lot easier for the patient. You know, most times you're calling the doctor's offices, speaking to several different people. Um, one person might know what's going on with their medical care. One person might know what's going on with their insurance. But with North American Spine, I am in charge of um, being their main point of contact so I can answer all the questions for um, the different things that we offer. So we then offer them a tailored treatment plan that's specific to the patient and their pathology. And then we move forward to medical clearance and surgery scheduling. You're taking care of the total patient, aren't you? Yes, definitely. And my goal as a patient coordinator is to provide them with the information that they need, that they want in order to make their decision and to feel comfortable. And um, I'm just glad that we're able to give them the best long-term relief that we can. Christy, North American Spine has physicians and facilities across the U.S. How do you as a patient coordinator make sure you match up the right one with your patient? Our medical staff is in charge of you know, matching up the patient to the doctor that meets their needs best. And the doctors all review their medical information and we can offer them that specific treatment plan you know, prior to traveling. You get to connect with so many different patients mm -hmm. during your day. Is there one certain story that you'd like to share? Yes, um, actually a few months ago I was working with a farmer in Kansas and obviously you know his day-to-day -day, um, workload is a little bit different than ours but um, he wasn't able to provide for his family because he was having a lot of um, neck and lower back pain and he was able to come down for surgery and um, I think about six to eight weeks later he was up and running uh, the farm again so I was able to be there for his family and do what he loves. Which is the reason you do your job every day. Mm -hmm. Great story, Christy. Thank you so much for sharing your personal experiences as a patient coordinator with us. If you suffer from debilitating back or neck pain, you probably miss out on so many normal day-to-day -day joys, like walking the dog, sitting through a whole movie at the theater, picking up your child or grandchild. The good news is that you might not have to suffer any longer. You can claim your life back. Open back surgery and heavy pain medication is no longer the only option you have. The North American Spine Physician Network is a multidisciplinary, deeply experienced group of board certified spine experts. Their specialties range from neurosurgery to orthopedic spine surgery and pain management. So they can work together to determine the best and most minimally invasive approach to treat your unique condition. A broader range of experience means North American Spine is able to find better solutions for more people. North American Spine offers additional procedures than the ones you just heard about in this video and is dedicated to finding the best treatment plan for your specific needs, condition, and history. The best part? All you have to do is provide some basic information and your patient coordinator will take care of the rest. So why not get started? If you're ready to get back to that wonderful state of normalcy, of hoisting a child in the air without wincing in pain, contact North American Spine today. A patient coordinator is standing by and is ready for your call.